school. That's where I am. Okay, so today, since Stranger Things Season 3 is coming out tomorrow, woo! I don't post this tomorrow. Um, yeah, let's, like, I'm going to show you my Stranger Things haul and some fumes. Okay, now first, um, first we're going to start with the hat, discussing hat. I look terrible with it, but I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the year, so. Yeah. Okay, now let's move on to some other things, which I just have lying around. Um, I have these Stranger Things action figures. I have this Lucas, which has got no arms. Pretty crap quality for $50. Well, for two for $50. Okay, um. We've got this, um, this wheel, looks pretty cool, here, nice articulation, uh, I've also got a 11, which has got a horse hand, which is pushing stuff, um, I also have a, um, Demogorgon, pretty nice and snazzy, now if you didn't know, I'm hella into horror. Mm. Okay, now I've got a Dustin, my favourite character, and then a bit of a Mike whose arms are broken so he's sticky pop. Now let's get on to the pops. yippee ki -yay. Okay, now first I'm going to start with a out of box. No, let's do the in box for the box. So first, um, I've got the this in the pop. Wait a second. Sorry, man. Um, I've got Ghostbuster Lucas from season two. Looks pretty nice. Okay, I've got a mic here. Um, then I've got Ghostbuster Dustin, which is really cool. I love that pop. And I've got Hopper when he's underground. Yeah, which is pretty good. Um. Got eleven with when she goes to Benny's Burgers, gets the ice cream in the back shirt. Wait, I'm just gonna move these over here. Right here. And then finally in the box one, I have my favorite Funko Pop, Steve with glasses. Um. Now let's get on to some out of box ones. So I've got Ghostbuster Mike. Fangman, pretty cool. Like him. I always like Mike. Um, then I've got a pixelated 11. Like a uh, video game version. I like it. Pretty good. Then I've got a Demogorgon. Because why not? Pretty cool. Only, um, only $5. Then I've got this Season 1 Mike with the um, walkie talkie. Season 1 Lucas, it's when he goes to do that thing, that thing, um, I've got normal 11 with the, with the echoes, um, yeah, I've got this Max, and she's having the Michael Myers mask on, which I really like, and we've got this 11 when she's floating and destroying the Mind Flayer. We've also got my favourite, well, a really special pop. I've got this Eleven Fighting the Demogorgon pop. And she can do an exorcist move. She's watching. Now, let's That's all my stuff. Stuff. And, yeah, my room is a mess. Don't look at it. Look at me. Oh, shivers. Okay, so, yeah. Here is my theories on Stranger Things. So, Stranger Things Season 3 is the follow-up to Stranger Things Season 2. And so, at the end of Season 2, Billy got beat up. Um, what else happened? Then, Eleven destroyed the Mind Flayer, and stuff happened. That's what happened. And they went to the snowball. So, um, but what we can see from season three is there a, there's a new mall called Star Court. We also 
see some people in masks doing things. They're fine. So I think that Starcourt isn't a safe place. And that there is like a Hawkins lab sort of thing. You know, normal crap. And so, like, they're doing experiments. And I think when the Mind Flayer got out of Will, it's going to go inside um, Billy. Which is um, confirmed by the trailers, I think. And I think he's going to... Since he's a monster as a human being, he's going to become the monster. And those rats we see in the trailer are going to come with him to that. Then the secrets about the... So Hawkins Lab is going to do that down down there. And then he's going to be a mon- monster. And then... So everybody has to fight him. That's a good theory. And also what we see in the trailers... We see that um, Mike saying we're not kids anymore to Dustin or um, Will. I don't know which one. So both maybe it's showing them coming of age and splitting as friends. So who knows? But that sounds sad. Um, we also see Hitman in the, in the first trailer. So I think... Um, so you know the guy who they go to, Nancy and Jonathan go to in season, season two, and work about Barb and stuff, Barb for life. Um, yeah, that dude Murray, I think, he's gonna be at the carnival, and that hitman's gonna come and kill him. Pretty dark. So I've also got another theory. Steve is gonna die. Okay, this may sound crazy, but. Um, Steve has a black eye in the trailer. That's all for... I'm kidding. So, Steve has a black eye, and you can also see him in the first trailer getting, you know, a needle in the neck and screaming. And, yeah. I also think Nancy and Jonathan will be looking for a job in this season because, um, you know, they're at the newspaper place, they're at the hospital, everything. Um, sorry if I'm not looking at the camera. Okay, so I also think that, what do I think? That's all my theories. I'm so lonely. You ready for the Spider-Man Far From Home review? That's coming today.